Namaste, Shalom, Salam, everyone. Satnam. It's the 2nd of January. I'm in front of the Sphinx. I've been here with Samuel, and he's recording, who I met in the Great Pyramid. What a great place to meet someone. And I started singing there. Um, I also uh, deposited some of my menstruation blood there, secretly, of course. Uh, I started menstruating on 1120. I collected that blood and I left it inside the Great Pyramid and I dropped some frequencies which started the final activation of those with the ancient DNA. We then went to the second pyramid which I've never been to before, I've been here three times. And again, Samuel came to my rescue, I didn't have a ticket for that, he came to my rescue. And as soon as I went in, I could feel the power. It was overpowering. My breath stopped. And when I went in there, I went straight to the sarcophagus and put my head down. It was emotional. It was powerful. My inside cried. I had a massive remembrance. I was meant to go in there to complete the trinity of the three pyramids. When we went in there, we were met with two men who said, you can't do that. You can't meditate. My ancient self rose in power and I screamed at them and said, I have more respect for this place than you do, leave me be, and they left. I then had um, a tool with me, an energy tool to douse. I walked around and I felt an energetic spot to the left and I asked Samuel to join me and I gave him a crystal. As Soon as he stood on that spot with me, the lights inside the pyramid went out. And then I, I received a song, a prayer, an ancient hymn, an ancient spell, which I started to sing with my eyes closed. And this went on, I think, for about four or five minutes. And when I opened my eyes, the lights were on and there were, I don't know how many people surrounding me. I stood in the center of the circle and I asked them to say Aum with me, which we did three times. That finally activated the final pyramid and I was shaking and crying and people were crying. All of the voices in there were needed because the collective voice of those people, their ancient souls and the tone and the frequency they all held in their voice activated that final pyramid. Everything is connected. All the pyramids are connected and have formed a grid. Let it be known that we are finally here and those who have the ancient DNA are now connecting and have remembered. There is anger arising through this change. It's an agitation. Know that it's like a butterfly. Before it spreads its wings, there's a struggle out of the cocoon and you have all been in a cocoon where the frequencies have stopped you from removing the veil, the lies. It's now so powerful, people, that you must allow yourself not only to surrender to it, but allow your power to rise like I did today. And let it manifest, let it take over, because yourself, your higher self, is far more powerful than you know. Like what happened today. You're not allowed to meditate in the pyramids and the resistance will be there they will tell you off something happened the energies were right the lights went out and everybody stood there in silent prayer as the ancient prayer came through me for everyone it's a joyous time bring forth your ancient energies your ancient dna has connected do not be afraid of the truth that you speak and the things that you think well, you may think things that you think are impossible, but it's your ancient self remembering the magic, the mystery, the power, the realization of the self that is so great that you must honor everything that you are that has been before and that is now. The metamorphosis is complete. Namaste, Shalom, Salam, Satnam.